1984 Mercedes-Benz 300D doing a blow-by test I read about. See, I disconnected the vent for the exhaust gas. You can see, looking into the light, you can see there's blow-by. The test is to block the hole and see how long before the engine dies. So this will be a rough count. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005 see the pressure build up. Uh, the engine dies because that puts pressure on the shutdown valve and the injection pump to turn it off. And on the internet I've heard others say that a pristine engine should run about 10 seconds or more and a worn engine would die in about two seconds. So this ran four to five seconds roughly. You can time the video. So it kind of matches the last time that I measured compression maybe 10, 20,000 miles ago is about 350 PSI in each cylinder. Don't actually know the mileage on the engine because I found the uh, cluster had pick and pull riding, so um, probably the cluster was changed at some time. So unknown mileage. But probably my guess would be it still starts fine on cold mornings, so perhaps 100,000 miles or so before the rings are worn where you need a block heater. Be a guess. It's a 1985 Mercedes 300D. Measured really good compression over 400 psi g in all cylinders. It's a blow-by test. With the top valve cover vent removed to see if you can even see any gas coming out. Now I'll block it and see how long before the engine dies. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. 5 Mississippi, 6 Mississippi, 7 Mississippi, 8 Mississippi, 9 Mississippi, 10 Mississippi, 11 Mississippi, 12 Mississippi, 13 Mississippi. See the pressure builds up. What happens, the crankcase is connected to the injection pump, which on the back end is a shut down valve, vacuum operated, which normally vacuum sucks to pull it out. Can't really see it, it's below the VCV here, um, but in this case, it's vented open to atmosphere because I'm not trying to stop the engine. But as crankcase pressure builds up, it similarly pushes out the rubber diaphragm and stops the engine. So this is a simple poor man's test without a compression test to check the quality of the engine, how, how much blow by you're getting past the piston rings. So other people say a almost new engine should run more than 10 seconds when you block the crankcase vent, which uh, here I got more than that, so seems to verify on my 1984 300D, which last measured about 350 psi g in all cylinders. Um, the engine would die in about four and a half seconds when I did the same test, so it's partly worn. And a really worn engine will probably die in less than two seconds because the blow by is enormous then. 1984 Mercedes 300D. It's going to be a blow by test with the engine cold, see if it makes a difference. I don't have the backlighting, so you can't really see what's coming out of the thing that's concealing. Okay, I'll plug it off and see how long before the engine stops. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. So about four and a half seconds which is about the same I got, exactly the same when the engine was warm. So it doesn't seem to matter that much how thick the oil is.